Now with the latest on the hurricane, we'll turn to Lonnie Quinn, the chief weathercaster of our CBS New York station, WCBS. Lonnie, what do we know? Well, we are talking about some big changes, not so much in the intensity of the storm, but definitely in the track. Now, according to the National Hurricane Center, you're looking at a storm that's a Category 1, 85 mile per hour winds. If it gets up to 96 mile per hour winds, you got a Cat 2. And that's exactly what we believe is going to happen. But watch the track. It's going to push off to the, to the west, moving toward the Bahamas, gaining strength. Then it turns to the north, a big push to the north, becoming a Category 3. That's a major hurricane, a 3, 4, or 5. That's bad news. And then it makes a turn sort of inland, makes landfall, we believe, somewhere from, eh, say, the South Carolina border up to possibly Delaware or so, with the highest probability around the Outer Banks. Now, if you take Take a look at if that storm sets up around the Outer Banks. If you're thinking, well, we're north of that, we live in a big metro city like Philadelphia, New York City, we don't have a problem. I disagree with that. I think you do have a problem because if it's south of you, counterclockwise spin around a storm like that just picks up water and pushes it along those shorelines. So I think flooding is going to be a problem with this one, Scott, even if you're not right where the eye of the hurricane makes landfall. Well, we already have all these rainstorms. Now we've got a hurricane coming in behind them. What's the combined effect likely to be? I keep using this little saying like it's footprints on top of footprints on top of footprints. You know, today, Roanoke, Virginia picked up like uh, five to eight inches of rain. That's a problem. All right. Now you get a little bit of a break. And then I think tomorrow that same area picks up possibly one, two, maybe three inches of rain, maybe even a little bit more. And then by the time you get to say Saturday, Sunday, you're looking at the hurricane moving into that area with a lot of rain. So flooding is going to be a problem with this one, Scott. Lonnie Quinn, WCBS. Thank you, Lonnie. You bet.